Hey everyone, it's Elsie here. Hope you're all well. Um, so to make this mobile, you just need some really basic stuff and stuff that I guarantee you have lying around the house. So first of all, you need paper. I'm using some very pretty pattern paper, an embroidery hoop, a pencil, groundbreaking stuff here, guys. Some glue, which you don't need to be too fussy about. Prit stick just like works just as well. Um, you'll need some thread. Mine is invisible thread, although you can see it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, some decorative bits and bobs. That one was for you, Suze. Um, and you'll also need a template. I just got mine off Google. I'll link the one I use down below um, in case anyone's interested. And you'll need some scissors. So really simple stuff. Nothing fancy. Uh, and you'll also need Netflix because you're going to be doing a lot of cutting out. I'm watching Once Upon a Time at the moment and it is very good. Um, so, okay, so to get the hot air balloon shapes, what you need to do, put a piece, put the template on a piece of paper, draw around it and cut it out. Groundbreaking stuff here, guys. Um, so yeah, it's really easy. Obviously, if you have a silhouette cameo or whatever, use that. Um, I don't. I have scissors so and they work just as well um, so yeah once that's all done you've got a pile of paper um, what you do to stick to get the hot air balloon shape is that you just fold them over in half um, glue one side stick it stick them together kind of thing if that makes sense does that make sense in my head it makes sense which is a problem a lot of the time but anyway um, so yeah you just keep doing that until you've got you know you've used however much paper you want to use in your hot air balloon um, I chose six um, pieces of paper in each balloon and that's the size that worked really well for me um, at the widest point the template was three inches across which I think is a about eight or ten centimeters I can't be sure um, but yeah that's a size that worked really well for me um, and yeah they came out really cute so you can see here once you've done all of that I haven't glued the last two sides together because you need to put your thread through the middle of that so I get my invisible thread um, and I got quite long pieces off um, and sort of I made sure that I had thread at the top and the bottom of the balloon going to, you know if that makes sense so I could add the clouds at a later stage um, so to put the thread in it was a bit of a pain in the butt <laughs> I will admit that um, so what I found that worked best um, was sellotape um, and I made sure I just like really pushed the sellotape into the grooves of the balloon so the thread would sort of stick um, and then I use double sided tape and tacky glue because obviously I have a severe distrust for adhesives um, and that worked really well. Inv invisible thread if you use it is FYI a right pain to use um, because you always lose it all the time because I mean it's invisible thread so it's kind of invisible and I just kept losing it so yeah just plain old um, cotton thread will work just as well or embroidery thread whatever you have lying around I just wanted the invisible thread because it's invisible <laughs> so it looks like the uh, hot air balloons the hot air balloons are floating so to make the little basket pieces I just got some white cardstock cut out a vague basket shaped shapes <laughs> and then stuck them together in between the pieces of thread super easy and yeah it worked so uh, I got my embroidery hoop and sort of made eight different marks um, just so I could roughly like space the hot air balloons out so some aren't like too close to each other that kind of thing um, mine's a 10 inch embroidery hoop um, and it's just one I had lying around to be honest um, so yeah what you do to adhere the hot air balloons to the hoop is just wrap it, wrap the thread around um, and then glue it down. Um, I use sellotape for that. 
nothing fancy. Um, and I just made sure that the higher balloons were at varying heights, um, just to make it look a bit more airy. So you can leave it at that, obviously. Um, but I chose, um, I wanted to do some clouds, so I just drew some and then cut them out. Um, I used two pieces of paper for each cloud, um, just so I could like sort of sandwich the thread in between the two of them um, to adhere them and then it kind of looks like they're floating and I love the look of it. Um, one thing to make sure is that if you want to do this is to make sure your thread is long enough. Um, so I made sure I had sort of space, um, thread space I guess, um, above and below the balloon so um, I could just adhere the balloons wherever, um, not balloons, uh, clouds wherever I wanted them. So, yeah, and then it looks like all the hot air balloons are sort of at different heights. Um, it just adds to it. It looks really nice. So, to make the mobile a mobile, I just got some cord. This stuff is was really cheap. It was like the cheap stuff in like my fabric shop. It was, I don't know, it's just plain white cord. Um, I think it was like 25p a metre, so I just got four metres of it. Um, and cut it all into like I think it was 16 inch like yeah 16 inch pieces because my hoop was 10 inches and that was like a that worked really well um, and then I gathered them all together in the middle point got another piece of that cord and then just tied them all together so yeah it's really it's simple and easy um, to sort of make the knots stick um, on the hoop I did put some glue um, into them just to so they're like they're not going to come apart kind of thing. Um, hot glue would have worked better for this but I don't have any so I just used my tacky glue and that worked really well. Um, and then to adhere the pom-poms around the edge I just use glue again for that. Um, to decorate the hoop you can just leave it plain or you can paint it. Um, I chose these pom-poms just because I thought they looked nice and they're kind of fluffy and cute. So, um, and it covers up the string, the knots, the str knots of the string, the string knots. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's it guys. I'll leave a post to Like Forever down below where I've written sort of step-by-step -step instructions. And if you have any um, questions, um, leave me a comment and I'll answer them down below. So thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.